accessing hard currency in Cuba is difficult, given the country's financial challenges. Last year, the government adopted a package of measures to improve the economy highly dependent on imports. By late 2019, nearly 77 retail dollar stores were opened throughout the country. The goal, selling high-range electric appliances and car parts in dollars to collect hard currency flee in the country through individuals known here as mules, who import products for the informal market. Currently, 80 stores are open with more to come that also offer tools and equipment for sale. To access the stores, Cubans use family remittances, already limited by U.S. sanctions, or by other means through informal sources. Economist Omar Everleni says the mules or irregular importers are a product of a fluctuating market. We see many gaps in our economy. The U.S. sanctions and our own inability to produce enough goods leads to an intermittent availability of products at the stores. But if the government is consistent with its plans, the mules will progressively lose ground, though I do not think they will disappear from the scene. The so-called mules search for hard currency at informal exchange sources to import specific goods, which are not available at dollar stores, like some clothes, hygiene and beauty products. Meanwhile, many Cubans welcome the stores, which only accept dollar peg debit cards. You no longer need to ask a mule to bring you some products, because shop prices are lower. For instance, a split air conditioner unit sells much cheaper than one brought by a mule. Others say it's not enough to kill the expensive informal market. The mules will not stop their business for the moment because the new shops cannot meet the demand. Only when this happens, the mules and their market will progressively disappear. Currently, there are two currencies circulating on the island, the peso and the convertible peso. Authorities say the dual currency system is an obstacle to the economy and expect to eliminate the convertible peso. But even after that happens, some economists say that the U.S. dollar will still play a role in the economy. Even with the Cuban peso remaining as a single currency, you will need a convertible currency serving as a bridge. And in my view, the U.S. dollar will serve as that bridge over the next five to ten years, because a major source of dollars are the remittances from the U.S. The government says that the measures are not intended to replace the national currency with U.S. dollars, but rather aimed at helping improve the alien economy. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Havana.